Lovelace. Hey, and today we're going to give you a brand new look at a Shirley Fabrication Santa Maria and a vertical smoker. It's the first time that the Shirley guys, the Shirley Fabrication crew, has put a vertical smoker on a trailer. And also, we're adding this Santa Maria on it as well. I used to have a 30 by 70 smoker, verse flow smoker. It was an awesome smoker. Man, I'm excited about this though because we're downsizing a little bit and this thing is still a beast and you're going to be able to take a look at it with us right here in a second, so hang tight with us. Thank you. Lovelace with Lovey's Barbecue and hey uh, YouTube, I just want to show you this brand new Shirley Fabrication vertical smoker on a trailer with a 48 by 30 Santa Maria grill on it as well. Um, talked to Tyler and Paul and they say it's the first one they've ever built. So um, hey, if you like this, check it out or contact them to buy one but this is just brought it home last night taking a look at it uh, we have the uh, wheels here they're um, custom that I purchased and sent to them to add on um, I got those I think from Trailer King out of California um, walking a little bit closer and looking at this this is a Santa Maria part um, it's 48 by 30 um, so you definitely can get like a small pig on that or a suckling or two uh, but man, I'm gonna be able to do some tri tips and a bunch of other cooking chicken and so forth on it. I can't wait to try that out. This is the handle right here. Uh, it takes it to go up and down. So, as you can see, you could actually make it go all the way up and then add charcoal in here, or you can open the side door and um, add it that way as well. But I like that, it's really cool. It goes pretty high too. And to be able to let that down, you flip this up and then it slides back down or goes down. You still need to hold this handle here or it'll just drop down, especially if you've got weight on it. Uh, we have a side door right here. This has your, um, this has an elevated charcoal grate inside, as you can see right here. Has a door right here that opens up. And we have an ash pan, a huge ash pan for this, and an elevated charcoal grate so that the, uh, uh, charcoal with the small ashes and stuff will fall down and still uh, keep breathing and keep smoking. This pulls out as well. Just great, great work that Tyler and Paul and Ross do and the whole Shirley Fabrication team. Got the jack over here on the side of this. I like that. That gives me, uh, I can take this um, removable tongue off and have a little bit more room on the sides walking around and not, not killing yourself. Um, walking about right here, um, Tyler and the, and the Shirley Fabrication team does a great team about asking you what you want. Right here they were going to put expanded metal, which would have been fine all the way around. I did ask them to put diamond plate still there. So I'm going to use it as like a shelf. Um, plates, I could put plates there, small plates. Um, or I could just even sit there if I wanted to. Um, but I had that on each side put. Still plenty of room to walk up next to it and reach you know, over halfway in on this side and go to the other side and uh, work it as well. I did have them put on a, a bottle opener. It's just the little touches. And this right here I think is pretty cool. Um, this little area is a basket area. Tyler asked me if um, what I wanted to do with this area and I said, hey, let's close it out. He closed it out. So now I got plenty of, uh, I mean, there's not a ton of room, but there's plenty of room there to put a bag of charcoal or two, some sticks of wood, um, you know, your uh, weed burner, different things you can put in here, maybe a small cooler. This will get hot here and this will get hot, so you don't want to put anything there with melt, but still a cool little area for storage. Uh, stainless shelf, drop down shelf with a um, paper towel holder as well. Um, that's cool. Then you got your damper here. And this right here is a 40 inch, if I'm not mistaken, extra tall warming area. Most, most reverse flow smokers, if you get a warmer, this is a 40 inch, so it's a little taller. And then I think a, the 16, I believe it's 16 inches down here. I'll have to measure it later on. I'll put it in the video. But we have the bottom is a 30 inch wide firebox, 30 inch wide warmer. So. Uh, even though I'm downsizing from my 30 by 70, I still want to be able to vertical smoke, 
Uh, and that's the main reason I do this. I've said it before in my other videos you can see on YouTube, that I use this thing, the, the Shirley Fabrication 30 by 70. I use it as a vertical smoker probably 75, 80% of the time. So it was just a beast and I wasn't using as much um, with a couple of job promotions I got. So I, I wanted something a little smaller I could pull in and out a little easier um, and still be able to pull it to a church function or any kind of a party and still fill this thing up with 24 to 30 Boston butts or um, you know, ribs, plenty of room to cook for smaller events. So let's open this thing up and let's take a look at it. Got a River Country. Um, thermometer. I am actually bought a tail tree that I'm going to add to it myself. Alright, so here we got the sausage hangers. And I did have them put two extra shelves in here, so it's got four shelves. You got one, two, three, four shelves. I know my other 30 by 70, I could get easily six Boston butts on there, and I'll be able to get six, possibly even nine Boston butts. Depends on the size of them per level. So six, 12, 18, 24 is the minimum. Boston butts, I may be able to get as many as up to 36, 30 to 36. So we'll we'll test that out and we'll let you guys know. Um, here's the damper system. Uh, on the side, you can pull that out. That's where the heat will go straight up uh, since we're using this as a vertical smoker. This is the firebox, a little smaller than the standard on the reverse flow smoker. But hey, this is going to use a lot less wood, a lot less heat required. Plus, it's going straight up. You don't even have to have a baffle block because there's not a you know there's not a full plate for the smoker part of it here. But this is a fire poker that they they give you when you purchase. And then we got this killer um, um, charcoal grate. It's, it's going to be awesome, charcoal. And this uh, it's got handles on these now. Now I had mine four years ago. It didn't have handles. I like the new way they're doing these where you can pick this up actually on each side. And carry it and move it where you need to but um the fire basket is a killer killer addition the way they've upgraded that i really like that um a vertical smoker i've got three things here i've got an ash pan that i'm actually going to use as a griddle as well I'll, I'll show you what i'm going to do with that but that will go into the main chamber the cooking chamber i'll be able to put two full pans there to be able to catch the grease so we have the elevated charcoal grate that will go inside of this so um, that, that's killer as well. And then also the guys got, we made up a, or they made up, uh, it's a little bit taller, a more elevated charcoal grate. Um, I mean, it's just the, the plate, I can set that down in there and add this as well to give it a little bit more height and a little bit more airflow. So uh, the guys were really thinking ahead of, of, of things cooking wise to help me out and I really appreciate that. But these are three killer things that I got with it as well. So the vertical smoker in Santa Maria, I got a third tire here spare in case I had a flat uh, coming down the road. Uh, again, I love those uh, those wheels and rims are killer. This is the other side of the Santa Maria. Uh, so again, same diamond plate on this side, expanded metal, uh, the rest of the way around. You could go diamond plate the full thing if you want to or you could go expanded metal the full, full way. Um, can't wait to use the Santa Maria. This is a killer 40 by 30. I think this is just the perfect size for us so we can still do big events, churches with hamburgers and hot dogs. Um, in fact, Father's Day is coming up and we're going to do hot dogs wrapped in bacon, so that's going to be killer. Um, and again, of course, the removable tongue. Um, this is a view from this end. Kind of a complete walk around. And this thing also, even though it's you know it's not small, it's it's big enough that I can push it in and out of my garage and still don't take quite as much room as my 30 by 70. Uh, it's a lighter as well, so it's going to be easier to move around. I really think these things will take off if people start really realizing how how much the vertical smokers. Uh, can get the taste and the smoke that you need just like the reverse flows. Don't get me wrong, reverse flows are awesome. Uh, that 30 by 70 I had was just killer. Uh, it was a showstopper, people went crazy over it. The cabinet models are awesome, but this is something a little bit different. I actually debated on this about getting a Santa Maria or a chicken flipper, but I ended up going with the Santa Maria. Uh, that's another option too you could do is custom is, is put that on there. But this vertical, 
I think it's gonna be all I need. Because again, 75, 80% of the time I cooked um, with my 30 by 70 as a vertical. One other thing that I did as an upgrade is a standard is I think quarter inch. This firebox is 3 eighths. And then also the plate in between the warmer or the main chamber on this actually. And the firebox is 3 eighths as well. I upgraded that and had them, had them uh, do the whole thing 3 eighths instead of the standard quarter, quarter inch. Uh, it is not insulated. I don't need that here in North Carolina. Um, if you have kids and you're worried about them touching it or getting hot, um, burning themselves, I would definitely go with an insulated, but um, our son's a little older and knows better. Stainless steel shelf is awesome. Um, I'll be able to have the two temp probes here, be able to finally put my uh, Maverick 732 on something versus I've always put it on the top. One thing I did do that uh, I think I'm gonna be happy with is I had a hip roof on my other one and the hip roofs look really cool, I, I get it. That's why I had a hip roof on my last one, but I wanted something flat, so I, it gave me a little bit more room at the top. Because uh, if, if I didn't, it would it would um, take some of the corner room out, so I can make sure I get my full butts in at the top. But also I wanted it flat in case I wanted to stick food up there to keep it warm. Um, it gave me more of a surface to do that, so that's just my thoughts my opinion we'll see how this thing cooks this weekend we're going to put some boston butts and some uh, a brisket on it we're going to season it here in a little bit i'll put a video out on season them as well but thanks for checking us out oh we got the led lights uh trailer hook up to the to your vehicle um that's on here as well uh, i did get a custom cover from lady across the street from the shirley guys that fits over this and um I'm thinking about doing this. I'm gonna see how much it costs. I should have should have thought about this a little earlier with Shirley Fabrication, but I'm thinking about having a thin piece of sheet metal cover for that. That way, if I'm cooking, I can always put that canvas on top of it, but I may have a um, stainless steel um, you know, shelf that I actually will lay on top of this. So then when it's all the way down, I'd have like a working surface I could work with using this Santa Maria to be able to cook in the vertical side. So that's something I think I'm gonna do or at least think about, but that's another option as well. That also keeps the uh, rain out and the water out so it won't rust out in the bottom of this. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out. Um, I can't wait to start cooking on this thing. I'm telling you, you need to hook up with Shirley Fabrication. I don't care if it's a five year wait, three year wait or a six month wait. Um, you need to get your name on the list, purchase from them guys. They are bang up crew. Uh, Paul, Tyler, Ross, all the other ones that work there are hardworking young men. And, you know, it was 95 degrees yesterday and they're out there with long sleeves and jeans and just getting it at 5.30 in the morning. So uh, you'll never find a, a bunch of guys that don't work any harder than them. Uh, that place has just blew up from four years ago, a small area they worked in to, to a huge other um, uh, area they work in and it's already full now so it's them guys those guys are doing a great job but ch thank you for checking out the Shirley Fabrication video hey subscribe to us we're gonna start doing some some more cooking um, our channel is kind of moving from just cooking only to food and travel but we're gonna put a lot of cooking videos out too uh, we haven't stopped cooking haven't lost that desire to cook we've just been trying to travel a little more with our little boy and we're gonna turn this channel into food and travel so if you like smoking butt smoking meat subscribe to us if you like travel and seeing different parts of the world subscribe to us we're going to eat some barbecue all over the world and uh, put reviews of it on the youtube channel as well so thanks for checking us out check shirley fabrication out i'll put a link to their website and also to them in the description of this youtube video thank you and have a great day god bless you this is mike lovelace shirley fabrication smokers cooker here vertical smoker hey one of the upgrades i did purchase on my own and uh, nothing wrong with the river country, but I added this this killer um, five inch tilt true glow in the dark at night uh, thermometer. That thing is huge. It's gonna be awesome. I, I mean, I yeah, I probably just got it just for the looks, but it does work accurate as well. I use my Maverick 732 most of the time. Another thing I purchased, and we'll see how this thing works. Yeah, an umbrella. So those really hot days, uh, this thing right here will tilt down. It's also got the LED lights. Uh, some of my brothers on the 
Shirley Fabrication website, I mean, uh, Jeff Neese page, um, Facebook, told me about them, so I picked one of those up. This right here can go up or down, depending on your height. It'll also tilt, so if you want to tilt it towards the sun, give you more shade. Those are two other little add-ons that I, I purchased, and we'll see how they turn out. Thanks for checking us out. Um, elevated piece of metal that uh, Tyler and Paul and them guys, Ross, gave us to put the ash pan in to give a little bit more airflow here. There's plenty of airflow now. Um, when this is sitting down on here, it may have choked it a little bit, but hey, I don't know yet. We're gonna cook on it. And there's, this is new to me as well, so we're gonna mess around with this and see, but just wanted to show a quick video of that. In there ready to, I'll put two pans here, one on each side, uh, full size steam pans to catch the drippings coming down uh, from the meat. Thank you.